Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include EU ruling sets cart in motion for horsemeat scandal Eurozone collapse, don't celebrate too soon, we get to the heart of the matter Let the patent and intellectual property wars begin Witchcraft, warlocks or lobbyists, who really controls the EU? Plus, the Italian economy, what will happen next? I'm Rick Timmis and this is the UNIT Nightly News. First, from our homepage, this article looks at the short circuit directives that enabled unscrupulous industrial scale butchery to introduce horse meat into the food chain. The EU officially scrapped daily inspection regimes in 2006, enabling food agencies to change their operational procedures. This left gaps through which horse meat could be easily introduced into the food chain. What's the story for the economies of Europe? Is the crisis abating? Have we seen the worst? Or is there more to come? This article looks at the political and economic landscape with Italian elections and a deeply unsettled populace feeling deeply resistant to austerity, can the rhetoric of our political masters really convince us that the recovery is underway? This article considers the angles. Will the floodgates open for patent trolls to begin registering patents for intellectual property rights in the same way that we have seen in the USA? A new deal signed by Vince Cable with the EU will see patent registration fees drop dramatically. This could be a stimulator for economic innovation, as it lowers the barriers of entry for inventors and researchers. However, conversely, it also allows anyone to begin registering intellectual property with the intention to create legal advantage that might later be used in litigation for financial gain. Who really wields the power of the influence in the EU? Witches, warlocks or lobbyists? This article looks at the deep interaction between corporate lobbyists and the European Parliament. The article is a real eye-opener and gives a deeper insight into the unspoken mechanics of the decision-making process that takes place in the EU. It hangs in the balance as polling results come in after Italy's elections. What happens next in Italy could set the precedent for the Eurozone. The markets are nervous. The EU are nervous. Will a new Italian government continue with the reform agenda set down by Mario Monti? Or will the Italian people reject deeper austerity and economic pressure? Today in our video library, the European Spring 2013. On March 13th and 14th, there will be two days of protests against the measures and actions of the EU. 13th of March is calling for local demonstration and the 14th of March for a mass gathering in the streets of Brussels. This video covers the details. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. Finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>